Hey, what's up, ladies? It's the relationship guru, Sid Pharrell. Now, I'm back again with another video just to give you ladies. Now, before I get into this video, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and you hit that bell notification so that you're notified every single time I post. And if you are a woman that needs relationship advice, or you want to learn more about how to think like a man, or why men do the things they do, act the way they act, and think the way they think, that I encourage you to book a one-on-one -on -one session with me. Link is in the description below, and I can help you out personally, one-on-one, -on -one, with any questions, concerns, or anything you have regarding your dating life or relationship currently in general. And also, brand new on my website, if you want me to coach you every step of the way, step by step throughout your dating or relationship process and journey and you want me to become your personal dating coach long term then i have a special program just for you link is in the description below also and i can help you out personally again one-on-one -on -one with any questions concerns or anything you have regarding your dating life or relationship currently in general and also go pick up my brand new girls night card game it's officially out so if you're having a game night with your homegirls and you need something to do, then make sure you go pick up my girls' night card game. It got a lot of fun questions and scenarios about love and relationships and everything all in between. So make sure you go pick that up. Link is in the description below, okay? And then on this hand, we got my brand new ebook. It's called Oh, He's Toxic, period. And if you never want to be played, used, or manipulated by a man ever, ever, ever again your whole life, then make sure you go pick up that ebook right there because it's fire, okay? And again, link is in the description below for that also, okay? And also, if you are a woman and you love love quotes, dating quotes, relationship quotes, and things like that, then I have something special just for you. I came up with my top 100, yes, 100 dating love quotes for women, right? So if you want to go get that, it's on my website. And again, as usual, the link is in the description below also, okay? So all that's out the way, and we gonna jump right into this video. And this video is titled, How to Ignore a Man When You Live Together in the Same House. Right, ladies? So, this question has been coming up a lot lately, you know, because I make a lot of videos on ignoring a man, blocking a man, walking away from a man, leaving a man, all that, right? However, it's some women that, you know, they would love to take the advice, they would love to be able to walk away, and they would love to be able to cut the man off or whatever, but they live together or maybe they got kids together, same thing sometimes, right? Maybe y'all live together with the kids or maybe y'all just live together, period. Or maybe, you know, y'all live in separate places, but y'all still got to take care of the kids, right? So if it's kids that are involved, then of course you can still ignore the men. And, you know, outside of your children together or your child together, Outside of that, y'all ain't got nothing to talk about. It ain't nothing to talk about. When I'ma pick Lil John John up, okay? When I'ma go get Lil John John, okay? Lil John John need this, 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 this. Okay, you know, here you go. That's it. If it ain't about the kid, hey, you know, how John John doing? John John this, 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 this you know, whatever. whatever. Anything pertaining to the child and, and the child's need or the children's needs, that's all that that's the communication y'all need to be talking about right outside of that y'all do not need to be having no type of contact because for what you know what i'm saying if y'all just co-parenting then co-parent y'all just y'all just share the child together and that's it if y'all went y'all separate ways and y'all done then be done but just be there for the child you know it's all about the child it ain't about y'all two no more y'all two gotta have boundaries and guidelines and you know certain requirements you know between each other so everything's understood so when it comes to 
So when it comes to you and a man having children together, just co-parent, you know, you ain't got to be in his life. He ain't got to be in your life outside of the child. All right. Now, when it comes to y'all actually living together and then, you know, maybe y'all got kids together in the same house. Now we talk about the same house living together, how to ignore a man, how to basically stand up for yourself how to make a statement. A lot of you women, you want to put your foot down because this man, you know he got you messed up. You know this man, whatever he didn't did, right? He didn't did something to make you want to go no contact or ignore him. Or, you know, you just mad. You giving him the cold shoulder, right? You as a woman, you giving this man the cold shoulder because of something that he did or something that happened. Maybe he said something out of line. Maybe he did something out of line. Or maybe it was something that he said and he did not do. Or maybe this man was lying to you. You found out this man was cheating on you. You found out this man been disrespecting you, cussing you out, putting hands on you, calling you out your name. You found out all these things about this man or maybe you just turned off by him. You know, it's just not, you know, you're just not happy. This man not making you happy. You're not happy no more in the relationship. Like, you know, you just want to leave and, you know, you know you deserve better. But some women, you're not in a position to leave, right? Maybe you can't leave because... Maybe financial reasons, right? It might be financial reasons. Maybe, you know, the man pay all the bills, you know? So if the man is paying all the bills and you as a woman, maybe you don't have your own money or maybe you got a little bit of money, but it's not enough to support yourself or whatever. Or, you know, maybe this man, like I say, he just pay all the bills and that's it. So you ain't got nothing to your name to really, you know, move out with. You ain't got no money to really move out. So you're forced to stay in that household with this man and deal with him cheating, deal with him lying, deal with him disrespecting you. Maybe until you can get your money together or maybe until you can start stacking your money up, you know, and stashing it away so you can plan your exit. But sometimes, you know, in the meantime, while you still there, you trying to figure out how to ignore this man, how to, you know, kind of block him in person, in real life, even when y'all stay in the same house together. And yes, it is possible, right? So another reason why maybe you can't leave or maybe a woman is unable to leave, to leave the household, is maybe she just don't want to leave. You know, it's the children, the children there, you know what I'm saying? They got to go to school, you know? So it's kind of like, you know, it's hard for you to just say, I can't leave, I can't go nowhere because I got to be a mama to my children. They go to this school, whatever. I don't want to split them up. You know, I don't want to split split up the family and have the mama over here and the daddy over there and the kids all in between, you know, I don't want that, you know? So sometimes you're doing it for the kids. Sometimes a woman won't leave. Even if the man is disrespectful, sometimes she just won't leave because of the kids, right? So maybe a woman can't afford to leave or maybe it's the kids. The reason why she's staying is for the kids or another reason why a woman might just stay or she can't never leave is because, you know, maybe your name is tied to it, right? Maybe your name is tied to the mortgage. Maybe your name is signed on the lease. You say, Sid, I can't just leave because it's in my name. Or Sid, you know, I can't really just leave for, you know, whatever reason, right? It's so many reasons why a woman can't leave, but the man is so disrespectful. She want to leave. She would leave if she could leave. Or maybe y'all got business together, right? Y'all might run a business together. Maybe you two own a business, a family business, or just something between y'all. And y'all mix y'all money together. You know, stuff like that. Y'all incomes and stuff. So you like, it's kind of hard for me just to leave just right now, just because it's a lot of stuff to have to go through, whatever, right? But you still want to know how to ignore the man, how to make a statement, how to put your foot down, how to teach this man a lesson that he got you messed up. In the meantime, in between time, until you can get your money up or until you're able to leave or maybe until your kids... 
Maybe sometimes until your kids get grown. Some women, you, some women, they just stay until their kids go off to college. And after the kids graduate high school, hey, brother, we done, you know? So sometimes it's that, whatever. Whatever y'all do, right? Sometimes, you know, in the meantime, in between time, you want to ignore this man and give him the cold shoulder until you can plan your exit, okay? So in this video, ladies, we gonna jump right into it. And per usual, I'm gonna give you my top five. Yes, five ways how you can ignore a man and essentially walk away from him even in the same house. How you can kind of give him the cold shoulder, how you can kind of just make your point, prove a point that, hey, he got you messed up. Like this man don't just have you just all lovey-dovey no more and all that. Like, nah, man, you got me messed up, right? So we're going to jump right to it. We're going number one. So number one. The first way how you can ignore a man in person, even when y'all live in the same house. And you as a woman, maybe you can't leave, you can't afford to leave. Maybe certain circumstances, you can't leave, whatever. Number one is be at home less often. So you as a woman... You know, maybe you don't even want to talk to this man. Maybe y'all beefing right now. You in no contact, right? This is all about no contact with a man when you live together, right? So when you're in no contact with a man when y'all live together, one of the number one things you can do to kind of separate yourself from him or kind of cut him off or kind of get some space, get some distance, make him miss you, make him think about you, make him pay for his mistakes. You can just be at home less often. So even if y'all live in the same house, maybe, you know, pick up some extra hours at work, you know, maybe make some extra money so you can save up. Keep in mind, you're trying to save up to get out of there. So maybe pick up some extra hours at work. That way you can stack up some money on the side and you'll be away from him, right? He'll be at home or he'll be whatever at work, whatever he do, you know, and hey, you at work, so you don't even got to see him. You probably disgusted with this man. You so disgusted with him right now, you don't even want to look at him. Or maybe, you know, it. maybe the feeling mutual. Maybe he mad at you too, whatever. So, you know, you want to give him that space. You like, okay, I want to prove a point. You're going to have to suffer without me, brother. So I'm going to pick up some extra hours at work, make some extra money. And meanwhile, he like, wow, she at work late and she ain't coming home, you know, on time when she, how she used to, when she get off work to cook for me or do this or do that. She at work, you know, so it take you out the picture, but you still live in the same house, right? So it's a win-win situation for you. Or you can start that business you always wanted to start, right? And that will generate and hopefully benefit you with some income, some extra money on the side where you can afford to get out of there. So maybe you can focus on your business and, you know, study, do whatever research you need to do, you know, invest what you need to do. And then you'll be so wrapped up in that, you ain't even paying him no attention. You like, I got to get a plan to get up out of here, right? So, you know, you can make more money, right? Basically, what I'm saying is you can pick up more hours of work or start that business or work harder in your business. Maybe you got a business already. You know, just work harder in your business, get some more sales, get some more clients, whatever. And, you know, you'll get more money. So that's making more money, you know, so that you got... So you got to get out the house, right? And then you get out the house, you know, maybe with your friends and family, you know, maybe not just for money. Maybe you just get out the house just for pleasure, just for friends and family. You can hang out with your friends and family, right? So when you hang out with your friends and family, maybe you can go to brunch with your homegirl. Maybe you can go hang out with your homegirl, go over her house, you know, have a girl's night, sip some wine, you know, do whatever girls do. You know what I'm saying? Do what y'all do. Or maybe you can go hang out with your family. Maybe your mama, if you and your mama cool. Or maybe your dad, if you and your dad cool, whatever. Maybe, you know, your, your grandmama, whatever. You know, hang out with a family member. Your uncle, your auntie, somebody, your cousins. 
you know, hang out with your friends. You know, hang out with your friends. Maybe your classmates. You know, maybe some people, they, they cool with their co-workers. You know, maybe you go hang out with them, whatever. You know, or maybe just your close friends, whatever. Whoever you like or whoever is cool around you, you know, maybe go hang out with them. And that will keep you away from the house where you ain't got to see him and he ain't got to see you and there's no contact, right? So that's another thing you could do. Just hang out with your friends and family. Or maybe you could just do other stuff. Go to the gym, you know? Maybe if you don't want to be in the house looking at him all day and walking past him and you don't speak to him and he don't speak to you and you trying so hard to go no contact, it's easier to go no contact when you don't even see the man. It's easier to go no contact when you somewhere else and you not even at home all around him all the time. So get out the house, go to the gym, you know, and that will benefit you too. You know, you'll slim down, lose weight, look good, whatever, tone up, whatever you got to do, you know, and you get to burn off some extra steam. You know, you mad at him. You know, he got you messed up. You all mad. Burn off some of that steam in the gym, you know, and and it will benefit you. And then you away from him, right? But now you don't even got to see him and you can do no contact, you know, elsewhere at the gym or maybe at the mall, go to the mall, you know, go, go shopping. Or maybe if you ain't got no money for real, go window shopping, whatever, go to the mall, go hang out, whatever, you know, do something else instead of being in the house looking at him all day. Okay. So that's number one. You got to get out the house and do something right and that will create no contact and more distant with this man all right and that's how you ignore him okay so number two the second way how you as a woman how you could ignore a man even when y'all in the same house number two is sleep in separate beds so a lot of times this already happens y'all heard of the dog house before you heard of a man say, yeah, my wife put me in the dog house. My girlfriend put me in the dog house. What's the dog house? The dog house is, brother, you go sleep on that couch, right? I get the bed, you go sleep on the couch. I don't even want you by me. I don't even want you sleeping next to me. I don't even want you touching me. Don't cuddle up with me. Don't be trying to kiss on me. Don't be trying to hug up on me. Don't be trying to snuggle up with me. None of that. Get over and get out and go sleep on the couch, right? You not finna even sleep. I don't even want to sleep in the same bed as you. Just get out. Go sleep on the couch. And a lot of times that's been happening for generations when a woman will put a man in the doghouse and he on the couch and he's sleeping on the couch for however long, you know, because you trying to prove a point. You're trying to make a statement. You're trying to say, don't touch me. You don't get the privilege of sleeping with me no more. You don't get the privilege of getting all this excitement and feeling so comfortable and, and snuggling up and cuddling up and, you know, sleeping like a baby next to me. No, nah, it ain't none of that. You gonna have to sleep alone, brother, without me. And matter of fact, you gonna have to sleep on that. And matter of fact, you gonna have to sleep on that couch. And I get to sleep on a mattress on a nice bed, right? So you proving a point and you basically taking the privileges away from him being all on you. No, you don't get to feel all on me. You know, this man trying to feel on your booty at night. This man trying to feel all on your chest at night. He trying to feel all over your body at night. No, ain't no, ain't no touching on me, on my body parts and stuff. No, go sleep on the couch, brother. Right? So that's already been happening, okay? So women have always done that from, from forever, okay? So that's one way, just sleeping in separate beds. Or, you know, sometimes the men, he might be real stubborn. It's a lot of guys, they stubborn. They might say, I'm not going nowhere. I'm going to sleep in this bed and I'm not moving. I'm not I'm not doing nothing. I'm just sleep over here. I'm going to turn my back on you. And if he say, I'm not moving, I'm, I'm going to just turn my back and we just don't have to touch each other. We just going to sleep on opposite sides of the bed. You know, and then maybe even you, you know, maybe, maybe I might have an extra bedroom in y'all house or, you know, maybe you got the couch or whatever. 
you know, maybe you remove yourself, you know, but first you definitely want to get control over the bed. I'm going to tell you that right now. You want to get control over the bed and put him on the couch, if anything. You know, that's, you want to press for, hey, go on the couch, go on the couch. No, nah, go on the couch. Uh-uh, uh-uh, go on the couch, you know. Now, if he real, real stubborn and he just not budging and he just absolutely not moving and it's like impossible, he just not moving, whatever, then that's when you just remove yourself for just a last resort. But you want to definitely try to get him, you you definitely want control over the bed first. Because most times whoever get control over the bed, subconsciously, subconsciously and psychologically is basically the more dominant person or the or, or the person who's, you know, controlling the whole situation. You go sleep on the couch. I get the bed. You know? So it's kind of like that, okay? But sometimes it, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. You like, okay, well you take the bed and I'll just go sleep in the other room or whatever. That's fine. You know, that's fine or whatever, right? Or, you know, maybe your homegirl, you know, you might have maybe your homegirl or maybe a family member. Maybe you go spend the night over there. You know, maybe some nights you might have to go spend the night over your mama house. Go spend the night over, you know, your cousin in them house. You know, they want to see you. Your friends want to have a sleepover sometimes. You know, that's okay, right? So sometimes it just comes down to just sleeping separately to prove a point that, hey, I don't even want to touch you. I don't want you by me. Leave me alone. I don't even want to sleep next to you, right? So you're just giving him more of the cold shoulder, okay? So that's number two. So number three, the third way how you as a woman, how you can ignore a man, even when y'all live in the same house together or y'all got a family in the same house, number three is do not sleep with him and don't even let him touch you. So he should not be able to get the booty. Basically what I'm saying is, nah, brother, you lost them privileges. If you really, really want to teach a man a lesson and you really, really want to put your foot down and you really, really want to show him that you not a game to be played with, whether this man lied to you, cheated on you, cussed you out, Whatever he did, disrespected you in your face. If he did any of that, he don't deserve the booty. He don't even get to touch it. He don't even get to do nothing. It ain't no sex. We not having sex no more. I'm not giving you my body no more. I'm not giving you the kitty cat no more. You don't get the booty no more. You don't get nothing. I'm closing my legs. Your legs got to be crossed, triple, triple all the way crossed like this you know what i'm saying you gotta have your legs crossed all the way like this locked you know so this man it teaches him a lesson and now he really in a dog house he ain't getting no booty so he mad he like she not gonna give it to me i really messed up she really trying to teach me a lesson and i'm suffering without the booty you know how bad men need the booty so when you take the booty away from him it shows him and teaches him like, hey, you know, that's even worse than taking the phone away from a teenager. That's even worse than, you know, taking the TV and the laptop away from your teenager, you know, your, your child. You know how you ground your child and you take the, the phone away. Give me that phone. You got bad grades. Oh, you want to act up in school? Oh, you want to get bad grades? Okay, hand me that phone. Hand me that laptop. Hand me that, whatever, you know, I'm taking everything and you're not going to get it back until further notice, right? So you got to do the same thing with this man. You got to ground this man. This man get put on punishment as well, right? So you got to really show this man, hey, this is what happens when you mess up with me. You don't get the privileges of having the booty no more, right? So that's going to drive this man crazy and he going to learn Hey, whatever I did, I ain't never going to do it no more because the last time I did that, she took the booty away for a while and I was upset and she wouldn't let me touch her or nothing. So even if this man 
even when it comes to not even just sex, right? Y'all can just be walking, you know, in the house or whatever. And let's say this man try to touch your booty. Let's say this man, he might try to grab your booty, try to touch you, you know, try to touch on you, you know, try to, you know, feel on you. You know how men kind of caress you and try to hug on you and kiss on you and baby, come here. You still mad? You still mad, baby? Come here. Come here. Try to grab all on you and stuff. You know what you do? You say, stiff arm, get away from me. Don't talk to me. Uh-uh, don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't kiss on me. Get your dirty lips off me. Get off me. Don't touch me. Don't do nothing. Don't touch me at all. I don't even want to touch you. I don't even want you even by me. Get off me. Get off me. You know, so you just push the man off. Get off me. No, don't touch me. Don't touch me. Wow, you really acting like that? You ain't going to give me no hug? You ain't gonna give me no kiss. You ain't gonna give me no affection. You ain't gonna give me no type of physical contact no more. So you still mad? Oh, you still mad? You tell this man, yeah, I'm mad. Yeah, don't touch me. Because what you did, you had me messed up. So don't touch me. You don't get to touch me no more. You don't get the privileges of having my body no more. Do not touch it, right? So that's how you got to be, okay? So that's number three. You basically got to show this man, hey, you know, that's the number one thing you could take away from a man to really get his attention. Anytime a woman take the booty away, you know a man go crazy. You know that makes a man just be like, wow, it gets his attention. If you can't get a man's attention no other way, Take the booty away and watch how fast he learned his lesson, okay? So this man, he don't get no affection. He don't get no affection at all. Do not kiss this man. He don't, not only do he not get the booty no more, you took away the booty, right? Now you got to take away everything. The kisses, you don't kiss him no more. You don't hug him no more. You don't let him touch you at all. It ain't no physical affection. It ain't no holding hands no more. It ain't no more you putting your hand. It ain't no more him putting his hand on your thigh or him rubbing on your back or him trying to rub and feel all on you. No, it ain't none of that. It ain't no more physical affection. No more physical contact. It's none of that. Don't touch me. Leave me alone, right? So that's number three. So number four, the fourth way how you as a woman, how you can ignore a man when you're in the same house and maybe you can't leave for right now. Number four is no access services anymore. So... It ain't no more access services for this man. So when y'all live in the same house and you trying to go no contact with a man and you trying to distance yourself and prove a point to this man, another way how you can get his attention and make him act right and make him suffer without you and think about what he did so he never ever do it no more. What you got to do is you got to take away everything, okay? So this is when you just take away all the benefits, all the access to you, everything. Not only do he not get your body, he don't get to touch on you no more. He don't get to have sex with you no more. He don't get none of that, right? Not only do he not get that, he don't get your cooking no more. Ain't no more home-cooked meals no more. I'm not cooking for you and you've been cheating on me. I'm not cooking for you and you've been lying to me. I'm not cooking for you and you've been disrespecting me. I'm not cooking for you and you've been cussing me out and calling me out my name and, and just treating me bad. I'm not about to cook for you. You don't deserve that. So guess what you do? You only cook for yourself or you go out and you go pick you up some food and you eat without him. He got to figure out his own food. He got to figure out his own way to eat. He got to spend his own money. Go get something. You ain't going to get them home-cooked meals no more. I'm not cooking no home-cooked meals for you no more. You know, so maybe when this man gone, you know, you make something for yourself. Or maybe, you know, when you cook for yourself, no, I'm not cooking for you. I'm making me a small little thing. You know, I'm making me a small. It's only enough for me. Well, why you ain't make me none? 
What's wrong with your hands? You can't make yourself none? That's what you tell this man. What's wrong with your hands? You got two hands. Like, I got two hands. If you hungry, go make yourself something. But guess what? I'm hungry, so I'm going to make me something. So he going to say, oh, well, that's how you doing this? So you not going to cook for me no more? Wow. You tell this man, no, you don't deserve that. That's not what you deserve. That's how you've been treating me, and I don't deserve that, right? So he don't get no cooking no more, right? If you got to eat as a woman, you cook without him, make enough for you, or cook when he not there, and, you know, eat something or grab something when you out. When you out and about, go grab something and eat somewhere or eat in your car, do whatever you got to do, or bring it home and eat. Hey, hey, I only had enough for me. You know what I'm saying? Whatever, <laughs> you know? So this man, he got to find his own way to eat. Because this man was depending on you to feed him. You was feeding him, you know, all these home-cooked meals all throughout the week. So now this man, he got to figure out what he got to do to feed him all, his own self. Because you ain't doing it no more. You ain't supplying him and feeding him no more. He got to starve on his own, okay? So he going to have to starve, whatever. Let him starve, okay? And then you got to take away the cleaning, okay? So, I know you live there too. So, you may say, but Sid, if I take away the cleaning, I live there too. I don't want to live in no dirty house. I don't want it to be dirty, you know, whatever. Okay, this is what I'm going to tell you. In the house, all you do is clean up after yourself. Whatever mess you made or your kids made, maybe you got to clean up after your kids. I get it, whatever, you know. But if it's not you or it's not your kids, do not clean up after this man. If this man leave his dirty drawers in the middle of the floor, you know what you do? You don't touch it. I'm not picking up your drawers no more. I'm not finna pick your drawers up every time you leave them on the floor. I'm not touching it. I'm not finna wash your clothes. I'm not doing that. I'm not cleaning up after you. I'm, every time you, you spill something or something happened, or you got a stain here, or you got this, or you leave this out, I put it up. You know, I get the stain out. I do this. I do that. Every time you leave something out, I got to put it up somewhere, wherever it go. And I'm not finna be your maid no more. So you as a woman, do not be this man maid. He a grown man. He need to clean up after himself. The man, he need to learn how to vacuum. A man need to learn how to vacuum sometimes, how to wipe something down, how to get some bleach out, some Lysol, some Pine Sol, some Fabuloso, some Febreze, something, some type of cleaning supplies, Clorox, you know, something. He need to learn how to clean on his own. So do not clean up after this man. You clean up after yourself only and maybe your kids if you got to, right? And even your kids. Your kids need to clean up after they self too. If your kids are grown, they need to clean up after they self. Now, if you got little kids or you got babies or whatever, that's different. I get it. You might have to clean up after them because they're kids, you know. But if you got grown children, you know, hey, they need to clean up after they self, okay? After a certain age, they need to be cleaning up after they self, okay? And same thing with the man. He a grown man. You should not be no man's maid. He should, he should already be cleaned up after himself and you only clean up after yourself. Then the house clean. It should not only be the woman clean the whole house and clean up after the man and the man, he don't never clean up after himself. That's not fair. So now I'm not picking your drawers up no more. You pick your own drawers up, okay? So, it's going to be piled up on his side, whatever. Hey, that's on him. But I'm not touching it. And then, like I said, the laundry. So, the laundry. Do not do this man laundry. Don't be washing his clothes. Don't be washing his shirts and his pants. And don't be folding his clothes for him all nicely. Don't be putting his clothes up in the drawer, in the dresser. You know, don't be doing all that. Don't be hanging his clothes up folding them up all nice and ironing his clothes out for him. And, you know, don't be doing all that. He need to wash his own clothes. Don't he got two hands? Right or wrong? Do a man not got two hands like you got two hands? He can wash his own clothes. 
So make him wash his own clothes. You only wash your clothes. You know, so don't wash his stuff no more. You take all his stuff, put it to the side. Hey, I'm washing my clothes and the kids' clothes, but your clothes, you are your own, brother. So this is when you just take all the benefits of having you around. This man had you as a personal chef, took that away. Had you as his little personal maid, took that away. Had you as, you know, the booty, took that away. Had you as all these things, all these acts of services, all these nice gestures, Stop being so nice is what I'm saying. It ain't no more nice stuff. I'm not doing nothing for you no more. I'm not going out my way for you no more. I'm not doing nothing. You on your own, brother. I'm done. You feed yourself. You clean up after yourself. You do everything for yourself. And I'm going to do whatever I got to do for myself and the kids. And that's it. And we can still be in the same house, whatever, while we got to be. But, hey, you don't get the benefits of having me no more, right? So, take all the benefits, cooking, cleaning, everything. Take anything you could think of that you do nice for this man. Don't do it no more. Do not do it no more. If you used to go and go get him something and maybe he said, hey, can you go pick this up for me? Can you go drop this off for me? Can you do this? Can you... I'm not doing nothing for you no more. You on your own. You take your own car. You can't use my car no more. Drive your own car. You can't use my car. Drive your own car. If you ain't got no car, oh well, catch the bus, brother. You know, so you really got to be like that. So you got to take away all the access and all the benefits to you. Okay, so that's number four. So number five, the fifth and last and find a way how you as a woman, how you can ignore a man even when you live in the same house together. Number five is temporarily move out or you can go on vacation periodically, right? So if you as a woman, if you want to prove a point to a man and you want to put your foot down and you want to really pull away, pull back and go no contact with a man to teach him a lesson, what you got to do is you got to temporarily move away. So when I say temporarily move away, that mean, you know, maybe stay at your mama house for a few weeks, right? Maybe stay at your mama house for a whole month. Maybe stay at your mama house for a little while. He might have to really, really learn. The, depending on what this man did, it all depends on what this man did and the level of what he did. But if he really, really got you messed up, you might have to say, hey, mama, let me go stay with you for, you know, a month or so or a couple weeks or so, two weeks, a, a one week, you know, a couple days, a weekend, something. Let me stay at your house for a little while, you know, to prove a point or me and him, whatever. Hey, I just need to be over here, right? Or maybe, you know, one of your friends, maybe you got a close friend, one of your homegirls. Tell your homegirl, hey, homegirl, let me go crash at your place. Let me spend a couple of nights, you know, let me stay with you for a little while because I need a break from this man. I need some space from this man. I can't be around him. I don't even like being in the same house no more. We walking past each other. We not talking. It's real awkward. It's very weird. I don't even like this energy. So let me just come over and stay with you for a while until everything kind of, you know, goes down a little bit, right? And everything kind of settles, right? So your homegirl or one of your other family members or somebody that you trust, maybe, you know, stay with them for a little while, crash at their spot for a few a few weeks or, you know, however long, just to prove a point. Maybe you got to do it one weekend, maybe a whole week, maybe two weeks, maybe a month, maybe two months, maybe five months, who knows, right? Until you can get your own spot or until you can get away, sometimes you can't just get your own. Sometimes you just got to crash with somebody else until you can get up on your feet just to get away. Sometimes the first step to even getting away is just, you know, staying with somebody else until you can build up enough money or courage or whatever to 
get your own spot and leave him for good, right? So you can do that. Or you can go on vacation periodically, right? So, you know, maybe here and there, you know, if you got a little bit of money, you know, maybe let's say y'all staying together for the kids, but you got money, he got money. You could leave if you wanted to, but you just, you know, it's, it's, it's a lot to just leave. You can't just leave whatever. So maybe go on vacation, right? Maybe you and your homegirls go on a girl's trip. Go to Jamaica. Go to Paris. Go to wherever. Go to China. Go to Africa. Go to anywhere in the world. Travel the whole world, right? Do something with your homegirls. Do something with your friends. Go on vacation. And when you go on vacation and you leave this man at home by himself, he like, what? This woman got all dressed up. She packing her bags. She looking good. And she about to go on a girl's trip on vacation, you know? So you go on vacation for, you know, maybe a week or so with your friends. And when you come back, you know, you all rejuvenated. You know, you have some time away from him. He has some time to not be around you. You know, all that. And then he may or may not be like, what? She left without me. She really had the nerve to leave the country without me. She went on a trip and now he jealous. He like, if we was on good terms, that could have been me. Or if we was on good terms, what? She just gonna leave and she just gonna go on vacation? What? How she gonna do that? You know, but I just did. I just went on vacation without you, brother. So that's how you gotta do, okay? So, ladies, I hope you enjoyed this video. Those are my top five ways how you as a woman, how you can ignore a man even when y'all live in the same house and try to create distance and get some time away from him, some time for him to think about what he did wrong and to prove your point and put your foot down that he got you messed up. And maybe just to plan your exit until you can get up out of there, right? So, ladies, again, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, y'all. Hit that bell notification for me, and I'm out of here. So, to the next video.